Opus 43, number one prelude. Hi, my name is Daniel Rofer, and this is one more piano tutorial here at Octopus Music School. Today, we will talk about this first piece of the Opus from the Opus 43. Um, I am pronouncing his name a little bit with uh, as was. French accent because this edition and I was confused if I sh how I should do and that that was the easiest way for me um, so the piece a little bit actually about the composer he was born in 1875 uh, and passed 1956 he was born in Kiev um, known now as Ukraine, as a country, um, but that time it was the Russian Empire, Soviet Empire. Um, he went to Moscow, he studied in Moscow, he was teacher of Kachaturian um, and Prokofiev, for example. So, I... Uh, really recommend you to listen to the whole album, the eight pieces. I think it's very important to you um, so you can understand his point of view as, you know, the whole picture. Um, but let's talk about the piece. So the first challenge here for sure is the key signature, um, five flats. D flat major but I would say that the real challenge will be to play a constant legato um, with evenness you have to be even um, the control of dynamics 
the notes that you uh, want to show more than others. So the sensibility, I think, is the highest challenge in this piece. So let's talk about a strategy. I really recommend you to, for this very beginning, to practice two measures only. So understand the first chord. Repeat this first chord. So there is a natural accentuation. I like to think um, I like to count always one, two, three again, but it's you can also count six beats. So, and in this first chord, we have a D flat major with the major seven, and it's very interesting because the natural situation we have inflection. So there's a natural inflection here to that first note and is the major seven. So this is this uh, puts the that harmony that you know the major seven harmony. Uh, it puts it really shows that puts that in evidence. So let's listen to this one more time. So in here you can have. Here you can have a single pedal if you want. Or we can also separate a little bit more. So I think it's important to understand the movement. And then experiment with the other two chords. first learn that play around use that to learn the musical gesture now we will have this phrase I like doing since we have to hold so I play finger four and switch to five four Tardando, uh, like I think it's okay. Stop a little bit. I've uh, 
listen to recordings where they were almost never stopping in some of the recordings that uh, would more like that. So I like having more freedom. So <clears throat> at the end of the second page, we'll have the same movement, the descendant movement, um, but it will be all octave higher. So. finalize with this chord. So here we have an interesting section. So I really recommend practice also two by two measures. So first learn <clears throat> the shape. I like doing this finger uh, because we always can use the same finger in here and it works. I do like this. Five, two, one, two, one, two. Alternating one and two. So here, one, three, one, four, two. Same thing here. And same thing here. So here we will have count one, two, three, one, two, three. It's just a uh, use a fingering f uh, for the arpeggio, like. Oops, sorry. Then we have this ascendant. Finally, <clears throat> we will have this uh, transition here. And something important here, the notes are always the same. These are the notes. So it will be only inversions that we will break that chord. So, see. <clears throat> says to dimin do diminuendo. Uh, I think it's okay. I like the idea. We are here. We can uh, get there really crescendo from here. recordings I've listened sometimes they stop a little bit at the end of this phrase so I think it's important to see that it's a, a forte and then finally it's only repetitions and at the end we have this very delicate ending I think it's nice to enjoy and do the ritardando. Um, it's clearly, um, you know, influence of the Romantic period from influences of, of Chopin, Schumann, all these composers. So I hope you enjoy. This is a very nice piece uh, for competition, for example. Um, and it's not something that it's very much played. Uh, so it might be a, an interesting uh, selection um, and don't have the risk of, uh, you know, having a lot of people playing the same piece as you. See you next time. Thank you.